Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Now this is a quick video to say DJI have done a thing. They've done something and that something is that they've quietly released a firmware update for the DJI O4e units, the O4 standard and the O4 Pro. Now this firmware update has release notes that say fixed some minor bugs. However, there's a bit more to it than that because it seems that DJI have finally fixed the issue with O4 in combination with the Goggles 2 and Integra not going into the full bitrate. Now, in this video, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what the situation is. It is very early days, but I've been doing the bench testing and everything looks good. So I'm going to explain to you exactly what is going on. Yesterday, DJI very quietly released an update for the O4e units. As I've said already, this is for the O4 Pro that I have in this quad here, as well as the O4 standard ear unit. Now, this update is version 01.00.03.00. .00 and what DJI state in the release notes is that they have fixed some minor bugs. There is no more information in the release notes other than that. They have stepped the firmware forward a full 0.0 version in the sense of it is 0 0.0200 on the last version to 0 0.0300 on this one. That would indicate that it is a fairly big update because DJI have been known to roll the latter numbers forward for very small ones. However, they don't say anything other than fix some minor bugs. Now this got me thinking because whilst DJI are well known for being quite vague in their release notes, this is even beer for them. And it got me wondering, is there something that DJI would want to fix but didn't really want to publicize? Something like a problem with a ham file hack when using the Goggles 2 and Integra with the O4e unit. The reality is, yes, there is a problem and yes, it looks like DJI has fixed it. For those who didn't know what the actual issue is, for CE users that were using the ham file on the Goggles 2 and Integra with O4, it didn't actually work correctly. Whilst the ham file did give you full RF power, the auto channel mode didn't give you the full 50 megabits bitrate. Instead, it would limit you to either 16 or 32 megabits a second, depending on the mode you've chosen. Now, I actually released a video about this problem about a month ago. In that video, I gave you an overview of what the issue was. I actually demonstrated the issue specifically, hoping DJI may actually watch this, may actually take it on board. In that video, I show you the actual problem. Here, you can see it was at one megabits, and then when you arm, it only goes up to 14, 15, or 16 megabits a second. It never goes up to the full 50 megabits when using the auto channel mode. I even wrote a big post about this on DJI Forum as well. I actually explained to DJI in detail what the issue was in that post. I actually walked them through the exact process to actually cause this issue to happen and demonstrated it to them in the post as well on DJI Forum. This was a quirk that was only happening on the Goggles 2 and Integra with the O4e unit. And when you used O4 with the Goggles 3 and the ham file hack, it was absolutely fine. I've been doing some testing and I can confirm that this update does appear to resolve this problem. Once you've updated the O4e unit, you now get the full bitrate available on the Goggles 2 and Integra, which is 50 megabits on these goggles when using O4, even in the auto channel mode. DJI appear to have resolved that issue, but the reality is they wouldn't really be able to shout about it because this is a problem with an unsanctioned hack that allows you to get full RF power in a CE area. And they couldn't exactly put in the release notes, hey, we fixed that hack thing that you probably shouldn't be using anyway. Now, as for what else DJI have done, the truth is we don't know. This has only landed in the last 24 hours. I have done the basic bench testing on this to confirm that A, 
the ham file hack still works. It works absolutely fine on the goggles 2. It works absolutely fine on the goggles 3. That will also mean it will work fine on the Integra as well. They have fixed this issue with the ham file on the system. So that means it is now working properly but we don't know what else they have done one member on my discord has tested his with the goggles 3 and he thinks it's actually improved penetration and link recovery performance it's going to take a little bit of time for us to understand but right now i don't see any concerns or downsides with regards to upgrading to this everything i've seen so far looks good but i'll be clear i haven't flown it's chucking down with rain here and it's dark however I can confirm that DJI have fixed the problem. When you now arm, you get the full 50 megabits a second. So, DJI, thank you for listening. I did make a video on this a little while ago. Can't remember how long ago it was. A couple of months, two months possibly. It is nice that you have finally fixed this. I also put a post on the DJI forum as well. They completely ignored me on there. I don't know if they listen to the video. I don't know if they listen to the post. I don't know if they listen to the community feedback. Regardless of the how, they have solved it. This is really good to see because this was really the only firmware issue that we have with O4. There aren't really many firmware problems in this system. This tidies all of that up now. Last thing we'd like to see is if you could make this thing a little bit more robust and... Can you make some cameras available for the light version as well? We would all appreciate it. Anyway, that's it. It's fixed. Go try it out. You don't need to update your goggles. You only need to update your ear unit. Hopefully, you will find it all works fine. Any problems, let me know in the comment section. Before we end this one, I just want to say, if you like what you see, please do consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to support us, please do consider checking out the links to my Patreon as well as buying me a coffee. It is only through the support of my patrons I'm able to keep making content on this channel. And if you'd like to support us to make content in the future, please do consider checking it out. I want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons. We would not be able to do this without your support. Anyway, problem solved. Thank you, DJI. Stay safe. I will speak to you soon.